a gym. Uh, they're looking ahead to the game on Saturday. It's Brecon City, Clyde Park. Uh, can you get your thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, again, um, you know, looking forward to the game. Didn't have a game last week, obviously, we the close road game against Rangers, but um, you know, not a competitive match. Um, so, you know, the, the game out of Brecon, as we know, a very compact pitch, uh, you know, a team that uh, they're, they're fighting really hard for each other. Um, they haven't obviously the best results so far this season, but I think the performances have been a bit better. And um, I know Dan Dodds, you know, feels that he, his team are not too far away uh, now from uh, competing in this league. And we need to make sure we're, we're, we're up for a really competitive game because I, I'm sure we'll, uh, that'll be the case. Mm -hmm. Last time you played, you can always uh, yeah, well, again, it's just you know, football sometimes, you know, psychology of football can sometimes depend on the environment and players go up to the places like Brecon, uh, you know, the tight pitch, you know, small dress rooms, all these kind of things, ex high expectations, you know, your fans expect you to, to win these type of games. And sometimes th these are the most difficult games because of that. But um, you know, from our point of view, as I say all we do is, is, is what we normally do, which is prepare properly, make sure that we're focused, make sure that there's a determination about the players. And if we do that, then you know I think we're, we're always uh, capable of winning the match. Obviously, mentioned it was a three-week game last weekend. Rangers. I know you don't really like talking about bounce games too much. Can you tell them about how the game went? And not much, mate. I mean, as I said, it's a closed door game, so you know I know there's been a few things uh, mentioned uh, in the press, but it was it was three three, and you know there was play, played in three uh, 35 minute periods, so you know there was a few changes within uh, both sets of players. But from our side, it was good. I think again, as I mentioned earlier on, about environment is great for for players, particularly younger players, and a lot of the players have never never been in a place that, uh, like Murray Park, and uh, you know you see the facilities, the resources they have there. Um, coming up against some quality players, international players, is always great experience. So I think it was a, a really good workout. I think, and um, you know, I think that the, the players can, can get a lot from it. But more importantly, I think it was uh, it was a positive workout from us. I think sometimes you go to these games and you don't always get the right attitude, and but everyone was was right up for it, and, and that that was really important. And hopefully that will give the players that uh, you know um, belief that uh, you know if, they, if again if they have that. Same attitude in every match, um, then we can cause teams problems. Yeah, Conor McManus had to come off in that game with a, a cat, a, a, we thought it was a slight calf strain, but it seems to have been lingering on a little bit, so he could be struggling. And um, Rico Day is still long term, um, but other than that, everyone seems to be okay. Jai didn't play in the game, but he has trained this week. Again, we just felt it was it was it was pouring the rain for a, for a couple of days, and the pitch was a little bit sodden, so. We didn't really want to risk him, but he seems to, uh, you know, be not too far away just now. So I think he'll be back in the squad for Saturday. Yeah, I mean, we, we've just hit a brick wall, really. We thought a few weeks ago I spoke to you, but we're delighted to have him back involved training with the first team. But he's another setback on his ankle, and you know, we've had various, uh, you know, consultants having a look at it and scans, and, and you know, we've, we've tried everything, but uh, we just don't seem to be getting to the root of the problem. So. Very, very frustrating for Lee more than anything. It's such a long time. As I said, he was a club captain, and, you know, such an important player for us over the last three years. So I, I really feel for the boy, but um, you know, sometimes these things, you know, you just can't put your finger on it and we'll just keep uh, searching for the answer. And last week was you obviously had the spell in charge of people. Yeah. Yeah. Think you enjoyed your time there? Yeah. yeah, it was great. Um, you know, the, the, the people that the, the, the were up there were, were, were really good to me and um, you know, very supportive. Uh, and um, the chairman was was a joy to work for. So, you know, I think that um, you know it's a really well run club, um, superbly run club. And as I said, um, you know, it's, they've given some good managers. I mean, obviously you've had guys like Ray McKinnon, uh, Michael O'Neill, who's done an unbelievable job. Um, you know, with Northern Ireland, as I said, Ray um, with the United. So, it's been a it's been a it's been a good platform for for young managers. Dan Dodge here just now learning his trade. Um, so, yeah, a very well-run club, we've got a lot, a lot of time for them, but obviously what we want to do is go up there at the weekend and make sure they have a disappointing weekend and we have a, we have a, you know, a really good result. Excellent, Jim, thank you very much for your time and good luck on Saturday. Thanks very much.